Hi there, OP Church. Taylor Hemnes here, um, taking some time to spend communion with you, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to do that. Uh, I miss so many of you, uh, all the faces, all the smiles, all the hugs, um, the songs, the prayers, um, just being in your presence. Uh, we, we miss that here at the Hemnes household, and we look forward to being able to be back with you today, or <laughs> soon, I guess not today, but soon. Um, as we get ready to to worship today, as as you may be watching this in your home or wherever you are, this is likely uh, the last Sunday of stay-at-home orders uh, in Missouri and Kansas as we get ready to move into this next phase of what has been the wildest two months I think any of us can remember in a long time. We're about to start trying to uh, re-enter our, our old way of doing things. We're about starting to have a very busy time potentially of um, people trying to adapt and people trying to get money back and get families back and uh, get jobs back. It's about to be a very busy, busy time. And it struck me as I thought about what to say for communion today, um, the original communion service with Jesus and, the, and that Last Supper um, was his awareness of what was coming and his awareness of the speed and the turmoil and the change and the hustle and the bustle and the pain and the fear um, that were on the way. And in the midst of that, he still took that time to pause and to feast, to dine uh, with his brothers. I think that it's important for us to remember that example right now as we're about to re-enter or go into this time of, of the same kind of potential change and speed and fear and um, turmoil, uh, how important it is to stop for a few minutes, to dine together, to worship together, um, to gather around the table together. Um, to brace ourselves for um, this time to come. And I can't think of a better way to do that uh, than here, with you in communion, in your homes, wherever you are, with your families. Uh, I pray that this message finds you well. I pray that it gives you peace um, in the moment and helps you to steal yourselves in the best way possible uh, to prepare for what is to come uh, with the example that Christ set for us in that same way. I'd like to pray now for uh, the bread and the wine as you prepare for your own communion. I'm going to do one prayer for both and hope that this time of, of stillness and time of preparation uh, comforts you in these next few days and weeks as we move forward. We love you and we miss you. Let's pray together. Lord God, thank you for um, this time of communion together around the table in stillness and in quiet and uh, in preparation. We can get so caught up with the speed of um, execution and of fulfillment and everything else we need for our lives to be and to have that we can forget to slow down and turn to you for just a moment in those busiest of times. And we pray that that is this now. We pray that you will bless the, the bread that we partake of, the cup that we drink from as the body and blood of Christ. May it uh, renew us, calm us, and prepare us for these next steps. We pray that you'll be with every health and political leader who's joining us in this time of communion and who's not this morning. Um, we pray that you will grant them the same stillness and the same calm as they prepare for a very busy time, even busier than it has been. Bless us all, Lord God. Thank you for being with us in weeks of fear and in weeks of prosperity. Bless this time and bless this meal together. In Jesus' name, amen.
Blessings to you all. Hope to see you very soon. Um, stay safe.